Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back. What can I say? It's not a bad movie, it definitely has its moments and there's parts of it that I loved. But overall, for me, it was just a meh. This movie is like an average girl, but then you find out she's funny, so you're more attracted to her, but just as you're about to confess that you love her, you find out that she's pregnant. And sure, there's many things you love about her, but babies cry and poop. That was this movie for me. But this is a movie that doesn't really require your full attention. You can put it on while you're joking around with your friends and such. If you get lost or confused during this movie, you probably should have been cast for a part in this movie. Because you're pretty dumb. I think that was my problem with this movie. There was too much stupidity and not enough cleverness to balance it out. A good stupid movie needs something genius in it to make it work. This movie definitely did have some ingenuity in it, but in my opinion, there was just not enough of it. It should be noted that I'm not too much of a Kevin Smith fan. I respect his talents, but I just don't enjoy his stuff as much as other people do. For me, it's kind of like that food that you eat at your parents' friend's house. You don't really like it that much, but you know you have to eat it all because you might offend the host. And you think to yourself, why did they add this spice? They didn't need it, but that's how they cook their food. Sure, it would taste better without that, but that's how they do it. Plus, if you don't eat it, your parents will probably spank you when you get home. It, it's just an example, though. M my parents don't spank me. Out of the whole Askview universe, including Clerks and Mole Rats and all those movies, this one had the biggest budget, and you could definitely tell. And Kevin Smith fans, don't start your hate on me just yet, there were parts of this movie that I absolutely loved. Most of that were the special cameos. Sean William Scott, John Stewart, Matt Damon, Chris Rock, Wes Craven. So many fun cameos, I loved it. And I love the fact that some of them even played themselves and made fun of their own work and their own life, especially Ben Affleck. And I know a lot of people hate Will Ferrell, but he was definitely one of the highlights of this movie. It was also funny when they broke the fourth wall, but in my opinion, they overdid it. Or did they? Yeah, they, they, they did. They did. Would I recommend it? Well, like I said, you don't need to put your full attention on this movie, so you can just put it on and start cleaning and cooking and doing some chores and stuff. Now, if you're a guy, you can just sit and scratch your balls and just watch my videos on your phone and wait for your sandwich or whatever you want to do. But if you're a super Kevin Smith fan, you already watched this movie and you probably ejaculated at some point of it, so leave your hate somewhere else, please. See you later, Coco Dryle. Shut <laughs>